Well, Marcus, in my own backyard, my neighbor's side yard, I'm yes. seeing little dandelions, little wildflowers. I'm thinking, oh, man, because when I'm not doing this, I'm mowing all the time. Yes. And this reminds me. It's almost time. Yes, that, that is true. Start to see a little bit of green in the grass for the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that spring is here. We've still got a little ways to go. We need some rain. Mm -hmm. That will definitely help. That will probably get you going on the mm -hmm. mow business, sure, though. I'm sure it will. That's for sure. But we need to be careful. We are still in a significant drought. We also have a county on our burn band. That is Russ County. Russ County added this morning from the commissioner court. This typically goes for at least 30 days. Could last a little bit longer in. We could even see more counties follow suit because we are in a significant drought at this point, a moderate to extreme here in East Texas. A couple of weeks ago, we did have a couple of areas in the extreme drought, but right now it's moderate to severe at this current point, but we could definitely use a little bit more rain looking long term. We are in at least a high fire danger for the majority of East Texas we could use some more precipitation. Let me show you what we've seen for the last seven months. We go back to 2021 and the wet summer that we had. These are numbers that were above normal for where we should have been for the month. For Tyler, Ju uh, July and August, close to four, four and a half inches above where we should be. And then watch what happened in September. The numbers came down and we have stayed that way through November, also through December. January of this year, February of this year. So we have had six consecutive months of the last eight that have shown below normal precipitation, and it doesn't look like we're going to see much change with that at all. The outlook for March from the Climate Prediction Center, we are in, in a favor for maybe a slightly above normal rainfall. We'll see how that plays out. But at least at this point, we are really trending toward more warmer temperatures and drier for the month of March. We could really use some rain. Thankfully, we have an opportunity for it late Sunday night into Monday morning. Today was another warm day. I hope you've been able to enjoy the sunshine because clouds are about to move back in. That's going to change everything. Highs today into the mid 70s. Right now we are sitting into the mid and the low 50s at this point. A very quiet night here in East Texas. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we've made it to the end of the work week, so we'll reach the mid 70s. We've got clouds building in the morning, mostly cloudy at times, and then by the afternoon we'll call it partly cloudy. South wind up to about 15 miles an hour and then as we advance into Saturday, we've got the big race, the fresh 15 and Tyler on Saturday morning. We'll have some light drizzle around as certainly with a fair amount of cloud cover temperatures to the lower 60s by 11 AM. Temperatures there into the mid 60s. Very warm on Saturday, only an isolated rain chance. Better rain chances are probably going to pick up Sunday night going into Monday morning. You'll notice here from the Storm Prediction Center, this is probably where we have the better chance for an isolated strong to severe storm. How does that play out with future casts? Well, I'll show you. We look ahead into Sunday morning and notice how we'll start in the mid to the upper 60s. Super humid weather is returning by the time we get to Sunday. And not much precipitation Sunday. That means mid 70s, and I think some of us will cross over the 80 degree mark Sunday afternoon. Best timing for rain with the thunderstorm chances after midnight Sunday going into early Monday morning. Notice how a broken line of thunderstorms impacting areas north of I-20. That's 5 a.m. Monday morning, so it could be a bit bumpy in our northern areas. That precipitation decreasing, a couple of showers in deep east Texas, but the focus then by Monday after the storm threat is the colder temperatures moving in. We've got highs dropping into the 50s and the 60s by Monday morning. So enjoy this warm weather and we're going to add the humidity, especially noticeable by Saturday. Deep east Texas, we got mid 70s tomorrow, but low 80s both Saturday and Sunday. Then we'll cool off behind the front on Monday. Our sports here is